ga twee gedichten voordragen uit mijn dichtbundel. Super spontaan en totaal niet ongemakkelijk. De een gaat over niet gezien willen worden. Dat vond ik wel leuk, gezien het thema Zie mij. De ander gaat over je shit fixen. Frederike Korsman, heel veel succes. Dames en heren, mag ik een applaus voor Frederike? On fixing things. Last night, I had the chance to fix everything. The gravitational pull on my shoulders, the slow motion in my muscles, the drowning with air in my lungs, and maybe even a little bit of the dark. The chance to lay down stepping stones for today's going places. To work out, pay bills, write that poem, call my mom, fix my bike, pack a bag, make lunch to meditate. To lay down my head on a pillow at 11 p.m. and sleep like a baby. My shit is together as humanly possible with an early bird ticket for the future starting 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. But I didn't fix anything. The future is a procrastinator's paradise. Always there, inevitable, warm and bright like the sun, by definition, always at a safe, safe distance. Thinking about the future is a procrastinator's high, and I like to get high on my couch most nights. Thinking about a future where I do anything except for what I'm doing to myself right now. Time moves, even if you don't, and the future will never be a synonym for dreams come true if dreaming's all you ever do. It's easy, addictive as dreaming can be, you should see the beautiful apartment I will live in someday. Filled with colorful rugs, art on the walls, trade it with fellow artists. And when you come over, sit on the red velvet sofa, drink homemade iced tea from turquoise cups, my ginger cat purring on your lap will catch up. I'll be a fit girl then. I'll like doing the things I wish I liked doing right now, going to the gym every other day, even before office hours. I'll do weekly grocery shopping at an actual market. I'll be environmentally friendly then, maybe even vegan. I'll be a proper grown-up. The ones that make you want to throw up. Responsible, but a child at heart. Velvet sofas don't even cost that much. But the problem is never the finishing touch. Starting something is the hard part. And avoiding the start of something hard is a procrastinator's biggest talent. Like, I quit my job last Monday, but was cat-sitting for my mom this weekend. Wanted to surprise my boyfriend. I was working overtime. I was so, so tired. My Fitbit counted a thousand steps that day, but not a single one towards that ginger cat, red velvet couch, or a job to pay for the future that I dream about. And that, my dear audience, that is the broken moment, the one in need of fixing. Because when I dream about that apartment, it's not the couch, the cat, the rug, that is the important parts. It's not the stuff, it's the life lived inside the walls. I can build myself a cage or a safe haven, be a jailer or the wind in my sails. Instead of waiting, I could breathe deep. <sighs> Exhale, take one tiny step in the right direction instead of just full-on sprinting backwards. Couches aren't made of quicksand. I could have literally gotten up any of those wasted seconds. But building new habits, it's like denouncing nicotine. There's a reason millions of people feel that New Year's resolution every year. It can take up to 66 days for an action to become automated. It can take up to 254 days for a habit to take. It's a slow, slow race against being lazy, against your own lack of commitment, against your own imminent failure, and there is no support, no matter how heroic, your epic battle to do the dishes on a daily basis. But tonight, 
I have the chance to fix everything. The gravitational pull on my shoulders, the slow motion in my muscles, the drowning with air in my lungs. Even, even a little bit of the dark, all I have to do is start. Um, deze stond niet in de bundel en degene die ik nu ga doen wel. Uh, ik kan ook uit mijn hoofd, maar ik pak hem er voor het idee bij, want ik heb hem nu. <laughs> en dat vind ik heel leuk. Um, het is nog vrij nieuw. Uh, het, de dag heet Zie mij, dus dit gedicht gaat over niet gezien willen worden. Egeltje. Wil je me niet zien voor een keertje? Schreeuw niet om aandacht vandaag als ik mijn ogen sluit. Iets langer dan voorgaande keren, loop dan van me weg. Wil je me laten voor een keertje? Vandaag ben ik een bolletje verdriet. Ik weet dat mijn pijn je prikt. Vandaag ben ik een egeltje. Dus laat me maar alleen. Maar alleen vandaag. Morgen ben ik egel af en je weet dat ik op egeldag altijd waarschuw voor prikgevaar. Ik vind je lief, prik je liever niet, dus wil je me alsjeblieft niet zien vandaag? 